Hi everybody, Jonathan here with another VectorWorks video and today we're going to be looking at again more of the features that were introduced in VectorWorks Service Pack 3. Now this is a very exciting one indeed, it's the new Omniverse uh, export and import which means that you can now export USD files direct from VectorWorks. Now, I'm fairly new to the NVIDIA Omniverse, so I'm really just starting to kind of look at what its capabilities are. As you know, I'm a massive twin motion Enscape and now D5 render user. Um, but it's very interesting and it looks like this is a really interesting platform for collaborative work. So there's also, uh, you know, quite a few technologies here, which this will open up Vectorworks to access and be part of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this up and running and what the benefits might be for you and start to explore this omniverse with Vectorworks. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so at the moment, we're just going to download the free version of Omniverse and you can see it's a little bit limited in terms of full functionality. Um, clearly, if you want to have like a multi sort of collaborative environment with more than two users, you're going to need the full version here. Okay, but let's go for the free version. I think this is where most people are going to start. So just going to complete these details, then we'll come back and take a look at the next step. Okay, so here we are, we've completed our registration. We're now going to download for Windows, which I've already done. And I'm just going to double click and launch the Omniverse. Now it's going to go through the usual kind of setting up procedure. And basically what we can do is log in using our uh, email that we registered with. So you can always reach me on this email if you're interested. Let's go for it. Let's log in. And um, basically that's going to pop up and I'm going to go through and just create an account. Then we'll come back and look at the next stage together once again. Okay, so um, I've managed to get the Omniverse application installed, but here we are in Vectorworks and just sort of giving you a quick spin around of one of my projects I did a few years ago. It was a really nice little home for a kind of new contemporary self-build eco home just on the canal uh, up in the East Midlands. Okay, so it's a very cool little model, uh, quite detailed with lots of furniture inside. So this is my very first ever test with the Omniverse and I'm keen to see how this performs. So what we're going to do is go up to the file menu, drop down to export and you can see that USD is available as an export format now. Just by the way we've also got the import USD as well. So we've got both import and export USD so it's a really nice addition to Vectorworks. Let's go ahead and click export. Um, there's a few options in here so I think what we'll do is just go for medium level if in doubt. There's a few different types of USD. Now I'm not really quite sure what these are yet, but I will find out a bit more about these. Let's just go with the standard one. And I think what we'll do is we'll export by, um, let's just try texture. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. And you'll notice there's some metadata here, but that doesn't look like it's been supported just yet. So let's go ahead and we'll create our USD file. So where should we save it? Let's go ahead and save it into my C drive and we'll go through and create a folder for this to save out. So as you can see we're just exporting the USD file and that's gone pretty quickly. Okay so we've managed to download the NVIDIA Omniverse and I've actually started to download a few of the applications and the one that I actually first want to play with is the viewing application. So basically I can click onto the launch button and basically what we've got here is a really kind of simple viewer that's going to allow us to um, open our Vectorworks file hopefully and just to see how this works. So let's click open. You can see that in the uh, browser here I'm just navigating through my D drive to my uh, Swan Lodge USD file that I exported from Vectorworks. Got a kind of little interface here which is quite nice and we can expand this out. So this is the interface you see in the viewer. Basically, I'm just going to go ahead and double click. Um, and this really is actually the very first time I've actually opened uh, a USD file in Omniverse. So I'm just kind of keen to see how this lands. Okay, so I can see something has landed in my project. Oh, wow. And I zoom out. And here is pretty much my model from Vectorworks. Um, one observation is you can see it's actually come through really nicely. Looks like the geometry is very good. Exactly the same as Vectorworks. Looks like the textures have actually come through very, very nicely as well. Okay, so this is a very uh, nice little kind of viewing. It seems quite responsive and sort of zippy as well. But basically, here we are viewing our USD file. And now we could click and share that with someone else if we wanted to. Um, I'm interested to see what else we can do. So we can kind of pan in and pan out. That's cool. We can pan around. Yep, 
and we can orbit of course as you would expect. So there's some really nice sort of aspects to this Omniverse sort of viewing application. It looks like we can kind of view, uh, probably get inside the model if I kind of scroll inside. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Looks really nice. And basically, you know, you can frame it up to kind of zoom back out. Also, I can see, let me just uh, orbit around a bit more. There's a nice little teleporting app. So presumably that will kind of drop my location over there. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Looks like it drops it fairly eye level. So I can basically sort of <laughs> teleport to that particular location as required. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's fit back out and see what else. There are some options in here. Um, it'd be interesting to kind of go through these and sort of just actually explore these in a bit more detail. But really, this video was all about just really showing you how you can basically generate um, NVIDIA Omniverse files now directly from Vectorworks and import them back into Vectorworks as well. So we'll take a look at this a bit later in a bit more detail and thanks. Now, unfortunately, if you're a Mac user at the moment, Omniverse is not supported. It's a Windows only application, but I have discovered that there is uh, the ability to use preview to open USD files. And you can see that they come through with some of the organization intact. We can do a bit of that kind of basic viewing in here as well. So I really hope Apple kind of like uh, add support for USD with better viewing applications. And I will be making a video on cross-platform workflows soon as a Mac user and a Windows user. So make sure you subscribe for that one. It's going to be a really interesting video, I'm sure. Let's get back to finding out a bit more about USD and its origins. Well, everybody, if you do want to find out a bit more about USD and universal scene description, I would recommend taking a look around the internet. Obviously, Wikipedia, good place to start. As you can see, um, I didn't know this, but uh, it was first developed by Pixar. Amazing. That's really interesting. And um, was published as open source in 2016. Um, you can see all the supported software. Now, I did notice here that Vectorwitz isn't actually listed. So I thought I'd actually kind of let us do a little update here. Let's click Edit. And I'm just going to go through and basically add Vectorworks as a new supported software. So let's do Vectorworks 2023 Service Pack 3 onwards. So here's my little contribution to Wikipedia for the first time ever. So we'll publish those changes and let's just put in the reason updated supported applications. Excellent. So there we go. We published those changes. So I'm thinking that's good. It looks like that's been published already. So very, very happy to offer my support. Good. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video on um, USD import and export with Vectorworks. This is a very exciting sort of new uh, technology that's built into Vectorworks. I'm really excited to sort of see where this might lead. Um, so let me know in the comments if you are using USD, if it's something that's brand new to you or what your thoughts are. And it's definitely something that I think Vectorworks needs to be part of this contribution to the metaverse or omniverse or whatever we might call it as things develop. So as ever, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.